Ahura Mazda, also known as Ormazd, Ahura Mazda, Aurmazd, Hormazd, and Hormuz is the creator and sole god of Zoroastrianism. Ahura Mazda is the highest spirit of worship in Zoroastrianism, along with being the first and most frequently invoked spirit in the Yasna. The literal meaning of the word Ahura is, mighty, or, lord, and Mazda is, wisdom. Ahura Mazda first appeared in the Achaemenid period c. 550-330 BCE under Darius I's Behistun inscription. Until Artaxerxes II of Persia 405-59-58 BCE, Ahura Mazda was worshipped and invoked alone. With Artaxerxes II, Ahura Mazda was invoked in a triad, with Mithra and Anahita. In the Achaemenid period, there are no representations of Ahura Mazda other than the custom for every emperor to have an empty chariot drawn by white horses, to invite Ahura Mazda to accompany the Persian army on battles. Images of Ahura Mazda began in the Parthian period, but were stopped and replaced with stone-carved figures in the Sassanid period. <laughs> Nomenclature Mazda, or rather the Avestan stem form Mazda, nominative Mazda, reflects Proto-Iranian asterisk Mazda a feminine noun. It is generally taken to be the proper name of the spirit, and like its Vedic cognate med, means intelligence or wisdom. Both the Avestan and Sanskrit words reflect Proto-Indo-Iranian asterisk Mazda, from Proto-Indo-European asterisk Minnesota, SDA, literally meaning Placing DA one's mind Minnesota s. Hence, wise. The name was rendered as Ahura Mazda Old Persian during the Achaemenid era, Hormuzd during the Parthian era, and Ormuzd was used during the Sasanian era. The name may be attested on cuneiform tablets of Assyrian Ashurbanipal in the form Asera Mazes, though this interpretation is very controversial. Topic: Characteristics. Topic. Even though Ahura Mazda was a spirit in the old Iranian religion, he had not yet been given the title of uncreated spirit. This title was given by Zoroaster, who proclaimed Ahura Mazda as the uncreated spirit, holy wise, benevolent and good, as well as the creator and upholder of Asha. Truth. Topic. Zoroaster's revelation Topic. At the age of 30, Zoroaster received a revelation, while fetching water at dawn for a sacred ritual, he saw the shining figure of the Yazada, Vohu Mana, who led Zoroaster to the presence of Ahura Mazda, where he was taught the cardinal principles of the good religion, later known as Zoroastrianism. As a result of this vision, Zoroaster felt that he was chosen to spread and preach the religion. He stated that this source of all goodness was the only Ahura worthy of the highest worship. He further stated that Ahura Mazda created spirits known as Yazadas to aid him, who also merited devotion. Zoroaster proclaimed that all of the Iranian divas were bad spirits and deserved no worship. These bad spirits were created by Angra Mainu, the hostile and evil spirit. The existence of Angra Mainu was the source of all sin and misery in the universe. Zoroaster claimed that Ahura Mazda was not an omnipotent god, but used the aid of humans in the cosmic struggle against Angra Mainu. Nonetheless, Ahura Mazda is Angra Mainu's superior, not his equal. Angra Mainu and his divas destroyers, which attempt to attract humans away from the path of truth and righteousness Asha, would eventually be destroyed. History Topic. Achaemenid Empire Topic. Whether the Achaemenids were Zoroastrians is a matter of much debate. However, it is known that the Achaemenids were worshippers of Ahura Mazda. The representation and invocation of Ahura Mazda can be seen on royal inscriptions written by Achaemenid kings. The most notable of all the inscriptions is the Behistun inscription written by Darius I, which contains many references to Ahura Mazda. An inscription written in Greek was found in a late Achaemenid temple at Persepolis which invoked Ahura Mazda and two other spirits, most likely Mithra and Anahita. 
On the Elamite Persepolis fortification tablet 377, Ahura Mazda is invoked along with Mithra and Voruna APAM Napit, probably Vedic Varuna, water god. Artaxerxes III makes this invocation to the three spirits again in his reign. The early Achaemenid period contained no representation of Ahura Mazda. The winged symbol with a male figure who was formerly regarded by European scholars as Ahura Mazda has been shown to represent the royal Zwana, the personification of royal power and glory. However, it was customary for every emperor from Cyrus until Darius III to have an empty chariot drawn by white horses as a place for Ahura Mazda to accompany the Persian army on battles. The use of images of Ahura Mazda began in the western satraps of the Achaemenid Empire in the late 5th century BCE. Under Artaxerxes II, the first literary reference as well as a statue of Ahura Mazda was built by a Persian governor of Lydia in 365 BCE. Topic. Parthian Empire Topic. It is known that the reverence for Ahura Mazda, as well as Anahita and Mithra continued with the same traditions during this period. The worship of Ahura Mazda with symbolic images is noticed, but it stopped with the beginning of the Sassanid period. Zoroastrian iconoclasm, which can be traced to the end of the Parthian period and the beginning of the Sassanid, eventually put an end to the use of all images of Ahura Mazda in worship. However, Ahura Mazda remained symbolized by a dignified male figure, standing or on horseback which is found in Sasanian investiture. Topic. Sassanid Empire during the Sassanid Empire, a heretical form of Zoroastrianism, termed Zervanism, emerged. It gained adherents throughout the Sassanid Empire, most notably the royal lineage of Sasanian emperors. Under the reign of Shapur I, Zervanism spread and became a widespread cult. Zervanism revokes Zoroaster's original message of Ahura Mazda as the uncreated spirit, and the uncreated creator of all, and reduces him to a created spirit, one of two twin sons of Zervan, their father and the primary spirit. Zervanism also makes Ahura Mazda and Angra Mainu of equal strength and only contrasting spirits. Other than Zervanism, the Sasanian kings demonstrated their devotion to Ahura Mazda in other fashions. Five kings took the name Hormazd and Baram II created the title of Ormazd Mobad which was continued after the fall of the Sassanid Empire and through the Islamic times. All devotional acts in Zoroastrianism originating from the Sasanian period begin with homage to Ahura Mazda. The five gods begin with the declaration in Middle Persian, that, Ormazd is Lord, and incorporate the Gathic verse, Whom, Mazda hast thou appointed my protector. Zoroastrian prayers are to be said in the presence of light, either in the form of fire or the sun. In the Iranian dialects of Yidga and Muni, the sun is still called Ormazd. Topic: <inaudible> Present-day Zoroastrianism. Topic: In 1884, Martin Haug proposed a new interpretation of Yasna 30.3 that subsequently influenced Zoroastrian doctrine to a significant extent. According to Haug, S interpretation, the twin spirits of 30.3 were Angra Mainu and Spenta Mainu, the former being literally the destructive spirit and the latter being the bounteous spirit of Mazda. Further, in Haug's scheme, Angra Mainu was now not Ahura Mazda's binary opposite, but like Spenta Mainu an emanation of him. Haug also interpreted the concept of a free will of Yasna 45.9 as an accommodation to explain where Angra Mainu came from since Ahura Mazda created only good. The free will made it possible for Angra Mainu to choose to be evil. Although these latter conclusions were not substantiated by Zoroastrian tradition, at the time Haug S interpretation was gratefully accepted by the Parsis of Bombay since it provided a defense against Christian missionary rhetoric, particularly the attacks on the Zoroastrian idea of an uncreated evil that was as uncreated as God was. Following Haug, the Bombay Parsis began to defend themselves in the English language press, the argument being that Angra Mainu was not Mazda's binary opposite, but his subordinate, who as in Zervanism also chose to be evil. Consequently, Haug 
S theories were disseminated as a Parsi interpretation, also in the West, where they appeared to be corroborating Haug. Reinforcing themselves, Haug's ideas came to be iterated so often that they are today almost universally accepted as doctrine. Topic. In other religions Topic. Some scholars Kuiper. IIJI, 1957, Zimmer. Munchner Studien 1984-187-215 believe that Ahura Mazda originates from asterisk Varuna Mitra, or Vedic Varuna and Mitra. According to William W. Melandra both Varuna in Vedic period and Ahura Mazda in Old Iranian religion represented same Indo-Iranian concept of a supreme, wise, all-knowing lord. In Manichaeism, the name Ormazd Bey, God Ahura Mazda, was used for the primal figure Nasa Kadmaya, the original man, an emanation of the father of greatness in Manichaeism called Zervan through whom after he sacrificed himself to defend the world of light was consumed by the forces of darkness. Although Ormuzd is freed from the world of darkness his sons, often called his garments or weapons, remain. His sons, later known as the world soul after a series of events will for the most part escape from matter and return again to the world of light where they came from. Manichaeans often identified many of Mani's cosmological figures with Zoroastrian ones. This may be in part because Mani was born in the greatly Zoroastrian Parthian Empire. In Sogdian Buddhism, XWRMZT Sogdian was written without a consistent representation of vowels was the name used in place of Ahura Mazda. Via contacts with Turkic peoples like the Uyghurs, this Sogdian name came to the Mongols, who still name this deity Kormusta Tengri also Kormusta or Kamusta is now a popular enough deity to appear in many contexts that are not explicitly Buddhist. The pre-Christian Armenians had Aramazd as an important deity in their pantheon of gods. He is thought to be a syncretic deity, a combination of the autochthonous Urartian figure Era and the Iranian Ahura Mazda. In modern-day Armenia, Aramazd is a male first name. Topic 101 Names Topic Topic In popular culture Topic Ormuzd and Ahriman feature in the 2008 video game, Prince of Persia. Ormuzd and Ahriman are two characters in the Warhammer 40,000 franchise. Ahriman has a model, whereas Ormuzd is only referenced in the book A Thousand Sons Ormuzd and Ahriman feature heavily in the Philip K. Dick novel The Cosmic Puppets. In the 2001 video game Severance, Blade of Darkness, Ahura Mazda was the god who created the entire world in which the game takes place. General Electric exploited the association of the name with light for their brand of Mazda light bulbs. One of the inspirations for the name of the Mazda Motor Corporation is Ahura Mazda, with homophone similarity to founder Jujiro Matsuda. A statue of Ahura Mazda is built to contain the jinn in the film Wishmaster. In the 2013 Amish Tripathi novel The Oath of the Vayuputras, Ahura Mazda is shown as the god of Pariya. Ahura Mazda is mentioned in the Immortal Technique song Sign of the Times from the album The Martyr. In the novel Battle Royale, a student named Mizuo Inada believes she is a warrior for the god Ahura Mazda. Ahura Mazda appears as a character in the Lucifer's Halo miniseries of Joseph Michael Linsner's comic Dawn. Ahura Mazda was the name of a late 1960s, early 1970s psychedelic and fusion prog rock band from the Netherlands. Ahura Mazda is featured in the book Kashil's Avatar, the third novel in Jacqueline Carey's Kashil's Legacy series. In the MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV, Ahura Mazda is the ultimate move of the third god of the warring triad, Zervan. Ahriman appears as a character in the television show Highlander, the series. Topic see also topic Creator deity Ishvara Jehovah Yahweh topic Notes topic topic References topic topic Bibliography topic topic Further reading topic Ahura Mazda and Zoroastrianism Dala, Manek G. Nusservan G. History of Zoroastrianism, New York, OUP, ISBN 0-404-12806-8 Boyce, Mary 2001, Mithra the King and Varuna the Master, Festschrift für Helmut Humbach Zoom 80, Trier, WWT, 
pp. 239–257 Humbach, Helmut, 1991, The Gathas of Zarathustra and the Other Old Avestan Texts, Heidelberg, Winter, ISBN 3-533-04473-4 Kent, Roland G. 1945, Old Persian Texts, Journal of Near Eastern Studies, 4 4, 228–233, doi, 10.1086, 370,756 Kuiper, Bernardus Franciscus Jacobus 1983, Ahura, Encyclopedia Iranica, 1, New York, Routledge and Keegan Paul, pp. 682–683 Kuiper, Bernardus Franciscus Jacobus 1976, Ahura Mazda Lord Wisdom, Indo-Iranian Journal, 18 1 2 25 42 doi 101163 0000000767900794654 Ware, James R. Kent, Roland G. 1924. The Old Persian Cuneiform Inscriptions of Artaxerxes II and Artaxerxes III. Transactions and Proceedings of the American Philological Association. The Johns Hopkins University Press. 55 to 52 minus 61. Doi 10. 2307-283007, JSTOR 283007 Kent, Roland G. 1950, Old Persian, Grammar, Texts, Lexicon, New Haven, American Oriental Society, ISBN 0-940490-33-1 Andrea, Alfred, James H. Overfield 2000, The Human Record, Sources of Global History, to 1700, 4 Illustrated ed., Houghton Mifflin Harcourt, ISBN 978 0 6180424566 6 Schlereth, Bern Farid 1983, Ahurani, Encyclopedia Iranica, 1, New York, Routledge and Keegan Paul, pp. 683-684.